welcome to my channel now you are seeing the isometric view which is having three dimensions now you can observe the arrow mark with the x this is nothing but the front view this is a indipat textbook problem figure number 20.38 so now first of all you read out the all the dimensions now here the length is about 75 width is about 50 and the height is about uh, 12 plus 25 this is uh, 37 so now construct the boundary diagrams of the front view top view and side view according to the dimensions now i will draw the boundary of these three views so now here you can see uh, the outline of the front view area and the top view so i i constructed like this so this is 75 i have drawn a 75 mm line and the height of 35 mm 37 and i have completed the box and here top view 75 mm length with uh, this one 50 mm as a breadth so i have extended so this is a line x y that is axis x y and uh, I have referred this one as x1, y1 to project the side view. So I have drawn the two projectors from the top view diagram and I have ended up to the x1, y1 line. After that, I will make this as a center and I will make two arcs from this particular point and this particular point. So now you got these two points simply you extend these two lines here simply with a very light line that is construction lines and after that you extend the front view such that you will get the area in which you are going to get the side view so this is the box that we get the side view now let us start the construction so now you can see the height of 12 mm at this base so I will take this point as this reference point and I will take 12 mm height okay so now 12 mm height I will take 12 mm here and simply I will draw a dark line here and I will extend it I will simply construct a light line here okay because this is wholesome and after 25 mm there is a margin of cut so this cut is not being introduced in this one okay in the front view so from top view i will extend it so firstly what i'll do is i'll try to complete the box here okay directly i'm drawing a dark line here right okay so now what i'll do is after taking 25 mm and this is also 25 so after 50, so 50 i'll draw two lines at this particular point so now you can see this particular portion is nothing but this one the section made at the cut line portion lo edaithe undo adi ee portion the left side lo unnadi ee portion ippudu manam cheyalasindi endante ee particular block ee particular block ikkada nunchi 25 mm above undi ante ikkada nunchi 25 mm chudandi ఇప్పుడు నేను ఇక్కడ పెడితే ఏ మీకు మిగిలింది 25 mm మాత్రమే మీకు ఎంత ఉంది ఇక్కడ 25 సో ఈ 25 ని డైరెక్ట్ డ్రా చేయండి ఇక్కడ ఎంత ఉంది 20 mm సో ఎ డ్రా ఏ 20 mm లైన్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ పాయింట్ డైరెక్ట్లీ ఐ యామ్ డ్రాయింగ్ ఇట్ డార్క్ దెన్ నెక్స్ట్ హౌ టు కంక్లూడ్ దిస్ వన్ సో ఇది ఇంక్లైన్డ్ గా ఉంది ఈ ఇంక్లైన్డ్ గా ఉంది ఎలా ఫినిష్ చేస్తాం అంటే ఇక్కడ ఇచ్చాడు చూడండి లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్ నుంచి 20 mm దగ్గర ఉందని ఇచ్చాడు సో దీనికి మనం ఏం చేస్తాం అంటే ikkada nunchi 20 mm isukunnam so i will take 20 mm from the left hand side and simply from this point to the point which is there on the top simply i will connect these two points with a dark line okay now you can see 
if you see from the left view left side okay this side from front view this portion this portion and this portion one two three blocks you have seen and these inclined positions okay this one so now you can see this so from this i will draw the projectors and i will make the top view so now by taking the x y as the reference x y as the reference okay i will draw the projector lines from this particular point okay one and this is two and here i know what is the width of this one so this is about 12 so route i will take 12 mm here and i will draw only a line between these two because this is been depth cut at this particular point only so now i will complete it in the dark and these two lines i will make it dark up to this point and up to this point only and at the edge of this one it is a complete line so now i will complete this particular point with the full dark line and uh, these two lines also with dark lines okay now i will complete this two also these two lines and now you can see the top view edges then next i will project these points here so with the help of uh, 25 mm width so i'll take 25 mm width and simply i'll draw a line from this particular point okay so now i will extend this one up to here i'll draw a projector so now this is the block okay this is the block and this one i will extend it the top face so now this is the top face of the block now i will conclude this one so here you can see just simply by fixing a drafter i can make two lines and here this is a slanted portion this is a slanted portion where i can complete only with one single stroke so now this is a top land this one 20 and this is the inclined surface so here you can recognize the light lines as well as the dark lines dark lines is nothing but out outlines and the light lines are nothing but construction lines so it, it should be very clear and now i have projected this one and i will project this uh, section of cut to the side view also so now from this as a reference point i will once again transfer these points okay so now this trans i have transferred this point so where does this point appear here so now directly i will draw a very light line from the front view okay up to this one but this is going to appear only what up to this particular point and whether it is observed or not so as it is being a cut when we are seeing from the left hand so it is not visible so simply when you are extending this point up to this point Line, you can extend it and from this one you have to draw a dotted line so that means when a dotted line is appeared in any view that you have to imagine that we cannot see a particular shape okay so after that you can make it dark okay this is a picture then next so you have to complete it after completing this one okay then next what you have to do is from the left hand side when you are seeing from the left hand side you can see this uh, inclined portion so inclined portion i have taken the point here so now simply i will extend this inclined portion from the top okay or completely where i have to make it dark so from this point to this point so now simply I will make the dark portion from this point to top line and simply I will close this picture. So the dimensions I can give the dimensions here I will extend it I can draw a dimension line I can extend these uh, pictures so so here and for one uh, I will show the extensions so these are all the extension lines you can uh, draw the extension lines and uh, 
simply draw a single line from one edge or other and uh, put the arrow marks and all the arrow marks which you have drawn in the picture should be unique and the one way the arrowheads draw just a mo any arrowheads draw just a complete picture low are the okay with a nga on the landing it could be the children d could a 25 and randy in the same way here also you write 25 and here also you write 25 and here this width i am going to show it here so simply you draw a arrowhead line and uh, draw the arrow heads too okay and write 25 and uh, height suppose if you want to make a height so between these projections you you should not write the dimension so take it on the left hand side so here you can make the dimensions here okay you draw a dimension line here and uh, put the arrow heads so all should be unique once again i am repeating and what is the height here the height of this one is uh, 12 and uh, this place is 25 this is totally 75 okay and now you have to look at this particular 12 width so for this 12 width you can write this one here okay outside the picture you can write it here so extend it dimension line and then you can write it as 12 so here also you have to mention this 20 okay this is uh, around 20 mm so i will extend this line and uh, this line draw a dimension line uh, put two arrow heads okay put two arrow heads and write 20 so now this is uh, how you are going to give the dimension of a orthographic projection isometric to orthographic and uh, from this iso ortho to iso vice versa okay 3d to 2d and 2d to 3d so try to understand slowly drawn neatly to get a more concept like share and subscribe thank you